Tan allows a slide downward slope usable for the water tower to round down it and into the open air by ground. Since the tunnel is underground, evaporation is kept to a minimum and water remains cool even through an offset summer. In other words, a canal system is a, a form of subterranean aftermath. The term canal, as it is well known, comes from an ancient Semitic word meaning to be. There are several variations of the name depending on location. Moreover, there are numerous differences in spelling. The tunnel has a slight downward slope usable for the water tap round down it and into the open air by ground. Since the tunnel is underground, evaporation is kept to a minimum and water remains cool even through an offset summer. In other words, a canal system is a, a form of subterranean aftermath. The term canal, as it is well known, comes from an ancient Semitic word meaning to be. There are several variations of the name depending on location. Moreover, there are numerous differences in spelling. Canals were first developed in Kazakhstan as a side result of mining activity, but early 1000 BC at the latest, after the use spread to the Mediterranean area, to Arabia and Central Asia. The invention of the canal is a last century to be seen by a byproduct of mining engineering. Mosani, during 2006, in the last conference, tried to investigate a canal system can be composed of several branches, joining, forming a kind of network. In practice, a single branch is defined on the basis of several technical parameters. Some parameters are related to the tunnels in terms of length, width, height, slope, etc. Other parameters are related to the shafts, to the wells, in terms of spacing, height, diameter, etc. Other parameters are related to other important uh, parameters, flow rate, water quality, stratigraphical sensing, and so, and so on. A typical tunnel slope used is 0.5 meters per kilometer while the minimum tunnel section is determined by the need of human access and therefore is around 60 centimeters. In practice, the tunnel can be very long. For instance, in Iran, we have the Zad Canal with more than 70 kilometers. And to the tunnel is the head and the last day of the canal. Vertical shafts have mass outward and visible manifestation. Several are the functions of the vertical shafts. Hydration, cleaning and maintenance, direction, orientation, and auxiliary tunnel excavation. Usually the shafts are spaced 20-40 meters apart. Some example, in Iran we have the Basman Canal with around 30 meters in average depth, until to the Moon Canal, always in Iran, with 42.4 meters. The Kolabat Canal, always in Iran, is an exception for this standard with around 80 meters of shaft spacing remaining here to the Golabat Canal, it is also the deepest canal with around 300 meters for the first well, the so-called mother well. In general, it is difficult to furnish a value with regard to the outlet for it, but we can try to give some values. In particular, in, during 2006, Japan furnished several different values for Iranian canals, going from 32 liters per second for the Batman Canal, to 350 liters per second for the Dam Canal. <coughs> Canals, as you know, exist in more countries all over the world, but most are concentrated in present-day Iran, which has about 30,000 active systems with a total annual discharge of about 9 cubic million, 9 million cubic meters. In Italy, Sicily is a site for its inquitati system, but there are some canals also in other southern Italy, and especially in the Campania. As a matter of fact, this presentation is just focused on a canal system present in the work of Mario Parisi. In fact, the speleological exploration was realized by colleague of Mario Parisi. The investigative canal is located in the village of Rocca Rino in Campania region, as I uh, speak. This area is very particular because it, it, the Campania Lake is comprised between the very famous Roman fields and Vesuvius as well. In fact, pyroclastic soil from Soma Vesuvia in fragment of fields volcanic activity diffusively cover carbonatic massives. The biotic community of the Rocca Lima Canal was studied between 1960 and 1970, when the tunnels were sufficiently clean and maintained. Unfortunately, now it is impossible to take biological samples because, as we are going to see, the, the tunnels are in very delicate condition with a lot of rubbish inside. 
Gamma species discovered four years ago in the Rongreno Lacan were substantially small sized and arthropods at Planaria and some species of bats. And now, the next slides uh, regards the morphological aspects of the uh, study of the current body. The depth of the shafts increases progressively going farther from the entrance, and therefore the last one came the deepest. The average depth of the shafts are 14.7 meters deep, with a minimum depth of 40, uh, 7 meters and 40 centimeters, and finally a maximum depth of 22 meters and 40 centimeters. 50 meters of the canal entrance, there are the section between the north branch and the east branch, just in correspondence to the uh, well number 10. As you can see, and as I told before, there is a very diffuse pollution. The first part of the north branch has a regular section with the walls and full center arch pole, which is not covered. The average height is 2.7 meters, while the width is 60 70 centimeters. The trunking base covered by microgores, which also cover the lateral raceway from water to one north. In correspondence to each shaft base, there is always waste down. There are falling rocks from the walls between shafts number seven and six. Finally, the flowage is characterized by pyroclastic rocks with the occasional presence of clay. From shaft number six towards the end of the north branch, but the walls and wall were covered due to the bad pathological condition. This technical solution was adapted on this part. Starting from this point, the dimensions of section are not to the niches, arriving to 40 centimeters of the width. There is a narrowing at the base, and the tunnel has a kind of proof at this show, as it is shown in the right side of the, the slide. Between shafts number five and four, there is a lateral winding of the section, where the skeleton of the brick were covering is partially inscribed and not held on the trunk and plane while the roof is lovely shored up with long parts. After some meters, the tunnel is completely obstructed due to Olenzola, as shown in the, in the picture. This branch, the first part of this branch, has a regular section, but the roof and walls are not covered. The tunnel section is 2.3, 2.7 meters high, with a width of 50, 19 centimeters. At the base of the section, the nature of raceway for water runoff is almost completely obstructed. The tunnel has a pseudo-gable group while the section narrows in this stretch. After beginning this branch, the tunnel becomes a narrow passage, passageway sorry, with a width of 50 cm and 1 m high. Remaining this branch, there are several interruptions due to local and slide that probably led the constructors to modify the original design path. After the described narrowing of the tunnel, the section has used dimensions useful for the passive passage passing to a person in a red position, and therefore with 60 centimeters in width, with slight deviation for the following 100 meters, as far as the intersection within its feet. Right. Made up of three branches with a total length of around 800 meters, the presence of some landslide obstructions probably indicates a greater length. The tunnel slope varies from around 1.7 centimeters per meter to 5.2 centimeters per meter. The original slope has been modified due to the accumulation of debris and waste, and 70 vertical shafts not internally covered with a circular section were found along the region that had, where there are 17 shafts, spaced of 36 meters, uh, uh, 0.5 meters apart, and 14.7 meters deep. Some general outcomes on Kana's system. Kana's were first developed in Kazakhstan by early 1000 BC at the latest. The invention of the canal is at last settled to be seen as a byproduct of mining engineering. Canals exist in more than 34 countries all over the world, but most are concentrated in present day Iran. In Italy, Sicily is usually cited for its simultaneity, but also in the Campania region there are some canals, even today, were not well known. If you want to see some videos about this canal system, you have just to go on YouTube and write Rocarino and Canal, because there are two very nice videos realized by Francesco Maurano, which is one of the equators and the espeleologists. Finally, as soon as possible, this presentation will be available on the website www.pronomaly.it, where you have just to find the symbol of the conference and click on it. Thank you very much for your attention.